Hello, this video are some new Pokemon designs for my Pokemon fanfiction project I've been working on. As you can see from the text, which explains some of the general ideas, I'm working on some basic ideas in order to have some of the unused or lesser used type combinations in Pokemon become new species lines. In order to keep some things a secret for the actual project itself, I feel I'm only going to work on some of the designs for the very first stage. That way, outside of YouTube videos and not posted online until the secret is revealed, I won't be showing the evolution of the chosen Pokemon that I'll be using in the comic so that it can be revealed in the story of the comic itself. This project is intended to be a mix of standard comic, animatic, animation, and to be voiced over. A voiced over motion comic is what I'm intending to do. This first design is based on the fairy armadillo. The pink fairy armadillo. I have a sketch in the lower right corner which is a decent picture showing the real animal this is based on. As you can see I opted for large cute eyes because eyes are cuter even though the real animal basically has no eyes at all. But this isn't the real animal, this is a Pokemon so I can take whatever liberties I choose. Just like how Zubat has no eyes even though bats actually do have eyes and vision. This takes the opposite approach. I decided to make feather-like structures to emphasize the magical nature of it. In this case, I'm working on a cute larval idea for a proper bug dragon. I looked at several different bugs that I knew didn't have Pokemon properly done of them and I worked out several ideas here. I was looking at thorn bugs. I looked at the reptile, the thorny dragon, and I looked at several different bugs which hide inside of shells and false thorns and different things. In the end I went with this one which is different than my initial ideas simply because I thought it was a better design and looked more like a Pokemon. I also have ideas for what it can evolve into that I simply will not be sharing here. But please of course vote for your favorite one of these designs in the comment section below. Of all the designs here I only really did the shiny form for this one and I come up with some ideas for its name later. Now on to the Dragon Fairy. Dragon Fairy just seems like an adorable option. So here I am working through several sketches of an idea. I really like the head design with the wing ears. So I used that as a base. I made several different options. Here I line out three of my favorites and I work on a general idea for the designs. I couldn't actually narrow it down any better than these three because I really liked all three. So if you could vote in the comments section below on which ones you prefer, that would be helpful. I'm likely to use all of these Pokemon designs for native Pokemon for the island, although not necessarily for the same role in the story that I discussed. Actually I didn't discuss the role in the story, I just talked about it in the writing at the beginning of the video. The role in the story is a mysterious Pokemon one of the main characters capture that travels along with them and will evolve during the story. Now back to designs. The idea is a fire ice type. I was working on an idea of combining Larvesta and Snom, Volcarona Frostmoth and also an idea of an icy pony. But in the end I actually really like the crystal creature which is more inspired by discoveries in Antarctica. Here I use a flipped over version in order to try to draw the rear view. As I go along I really like this design however I realize it doesn't look like the first stage of the line. It looks like a one and only stage somehow related to Corsola. I think I'm going to include this Pokemon in the story but not at all for this role in the story. So I don't really need someone to say this is their favorite one in the comment section. Just tell me what you like about the design or what you think it could be changed if anything. I'm going through all the different things here in order to create a group shot. As you can see I come up with some ideas for names and the thumbnail. Please vote on your favorite designs below. Tell me which ones, why, if any you think would fulfill a role of a nice mysterious Pokemon you'd like to see evolve in the story alongside a main character. The one that I end up picking will be the mysterious one. The others I might develop the evolutions for in videos. Until next time, bye!